Hello YouTube friends, subscribers, JW Solar USA. I got a video, uh, a review video of this uh, device right here. Heiser, Heiser or Heiser. Um, here's the model number here. XQBM22-C, that's Charlie, and Hazer, Heiser or, or Hazer, compact portable washer. So we're going to be doing a wash in here this evening just to show you guys. And um, I already got all the stuff ready. All the stuff already connected over there. Sink is just, just a portable one. <clears throat> so I've done some few loads, but the time I bought it, I never, I never tried to make a view because I was so excited. I want to try it, try it, try it, and now it's ready to go. I got a detergent already. It's right here. A little sack. So you clip, push this button right here, and it's gonna pop. There you go. And that's the detergent. So that has a clip right there. It goes back there and right there. So, folks, uh, I'm gonna be doing some uh, uh, light load right here, and C is gonna be doing. <clears throat> I'm doing this washing through solar my 48 volt battery bank and um, it's gonna be taking care of um, Outback FX 3048 I will take you to the command center so they can see how this device is gonna start operating okay device is plugged right there that's the cord all the way down all the way to the back and here so I'm gonna regulate this thing to um, wash this not a heavy load so I'm gonna be using it to like a normal wash it out not to right there so it's gonna wash um rinse light wash so it's not a, these are kind of like um polyester that's in there so if i pull this then the power will start it generating right away from the uh, machine and uh, i have to go back and turn the system over there see i just demonstrated and the water is already on so I'll ask my wife to uh, pull the trigger right there. Oh, it just passed it. So she's gonna pull this thing up, and I'm gonna turn the uh, switch on for that, and it's gonna start doing its thing. She's gonna pop the lid right there. The water is gonna be dispensing from here, from the tap. Okay. All right. All right, folks, this is the command center. This is uh, night, and the time is right there. All right, it's 9, it's 2102, which is 902. And right there. So we have power on the inverter, and we're going to start this pro process soon. So I hope you guys will enjoy this one. It's just a, a quick demo. Okay, try it. So currently we are sitting at uh, ninety six percent SOC and um, so two hundred and ninety one. Amp hour on the battery bank. We're sitting at uh, 52.6 volts.
bolt. All right, folks, uh, the water is dispensing right now, and pretty soon we're gonna start doing the laundering here. So I got this uh, unit connected to this um, tap for British and uh, American says uh, faucet right there. So this is the, the drainage, the waste pipe hose. And I have this little bit half of it. And this one is already on blast. And the reason why the water is running so slow is because this hose, the hose right here, is one side the input is kind of bigger. Uh, the hole is kind of a little bit like uh, my pinky. And there is just a little one. So that at least I, I, I don't know. Yeah, that was the right hose so I, I went and bought another one if you guys can look at the first video when I did a review so we put in some water right here and this is pretty good and the machine knows how much water can handle and it will switch automatically Now there we go folks, it's doing the process right now, all is done by solar, so let's go check the readings right there. Alright folks, this is what we're pulling from the, uh, from the batteries, through the, um, the Outback FX3048 MT. So you see that we pull in a four point almost five amps and we're still doing pretty good here and even the inverter is not even running like uh, making noises or anything because that's a light load for it. So according to the specs supposed to be pulling about 270 watt and we are doing pretty good right on the solar system here. This is doing laundry at night. With my hyzer or hazer, you pronounce it. So at 210700 hours on a Monday night. So the batteries are holding up and the house is still running. We just have a few uh the lights and whatever. We are not watching TV right now. Refrigerators are re recycling right now. So everything is working folks, it's working. It's a learning process right here. We gotta learn when it's always like a crisis, you can able to do your thing. You're not gonna miss anything at all. Okay. Something just happened, I think it's uh, draining. The water, that's a pre-wash right there. Yeah, folks, it's uh, dumping the water for some reason. Whatever it is, it's a pre-wash. I don't know. So, still have the stuff there. Machine is doing pretty good. There you go, folks. See that folks? I had the water on medium. It's dumping the water right now. You know, I think it's um, pre-wash and rinse it then uh, started washing again. So we are still in good shape. 1.1 amp from the battery sitting at 796 
percent at 291 amp hour system is running good and it's looking pretty at night with all the lighting look at that to just love it beautiful yeah it's really 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 nice looks really nice at night all the lights on LED so okay I think it's going to another segment here. I don't know what it's trying to do. I can hear the machine back there. I just want to show you guys uh, the load. How much amps is taking out. Filling up uh, the water again. And Doing some kind of washing from there, it's gonna rinse and dump the water, and that's the time it's gonna be going to the cycling mode to uh, doing the rinse and spinning, like squeezing your clothes or whatever you call it. So, from there, they're gonna be ready for drying. So, it's kind of cold not too cold because I'm washing some colors and some of these other um, clothes uh, kind of delegate you need hot water so I hope you're enjoying this video and it's running through solar no sun at all this is the evening time and it's still doing this thing as you can hear right now, see what's going on right there. Yeah, so it's in the process like just like cleaning up all the stuff, like getting ready for rains again, dump it, rinse it and spin, and that's it. You can see right there. Pretty cool. That's right. Um, you can see what we're bringing in. Uh, what, what, sorry, what we're taking from the battery. Uh, it's drawing right there. And the batteries are still sitting right there at 51.4. Remember, we start at 96% SOC. You guys got all the readings there. So, from the Wisp Bank Jr. It's telling it's telling us exactly how much power we're taking from the batteries. And uh this guy here is just sitting here doing this thing. Nothing. It's not even coughing. Just happy. So you guys probably remember the time we started because I, I showed you guys on the video right there. We can see how the duration, how long or the ETA this laundry is gonna um, last for alright folks uh, probably bring you guys almost the ending of the uh, process so that you guys can able to see um, when it's spinning so that uh, the last process I can take the stuff off from the machine for drying thank you and please stay tuned nice dumping again that. All right, folks, you guys can see interesting things going to happen here. Nice dump in the water. With a high speed. You guys can hear it from the background. And it's taking 7 point, almost 8 amps. Yeah, exactly 8 amps. Spinning. At a high speed, higher RPM. That's exactly the power that 
the amps that um, the machine is taking is pulling out from the battery bank. Almost eight and a half amps. I suppose uh, would be like um, um, to about 200 watt. We're sitting at 50.94. So if you do uh, 48 times um, 8.3 amps, it will tell you exactly how many amps we're taking out from the batteries. So take a look closely, you will see uh, we just dropped to 291 amp hour. 290 amp hour it's pulling um, 8 amps constantly here is the temperature in the battery box it's a 71.0 degrees Fahrenheit here the MOSFET the MOSFET from the uh, controller is at 26 degrees Celsius so it's done spinning right now so I think probably it's gonna um, collect some water again to do the rinse and spinning again and that will be over the batteries went up again to 51.2 amps so 51.2 volt we are still in good shape and All right, folks, it's dumping water back for the rinsing. Final, you see how everything is kind of twisted because it's spinning at a higher velocity. So, this is really cool. 48 volts, doing laundry on the 48 volts right here, JW Solar USA. Please uh, subscribe, comment. Here is the model number. Heiser, full automatic, X-ray, Queen, Boy, Mary, 22-Charlie. So, here are the warnings here. Take a close look at that. And if this machine is doing the uh, rinsing, spinning so hard, any vibration will trigger the automatic system, the machine will stop doing whatever it's doing for safety reasons. You don't want this machine to keep on dancing everywhere if you're in a home. So it will stop right away. Okay. Well, this is what I'm dealing with here, right here from the command center, JW Solo USA. Right now we are not pulling no amps. So we just um, filling up the machine right now. We can do the rings gonna range all the way to uh, high all right so process gonna start again and that will be over right at the um, five number five with the spinning and we are done all right stay tuned so I would say that's just from the standby from the charge controllers here. The charge two charge controllers and the um the inverter. So it only takes about uh uh three fourths of an amp, which is not even an amp. Zero point seven a quarter of an amp. So that's the system right there. It's 21 30 hours right here from the command center GW Solar USA. Yes. I'm so excited. At least I have a little machine I can use with my battery bank. All right, the process started again. Rinsing. Pulling only about three, three and a half, 
to five and a half almost approximately okay three and a half to five and a half at the peak look at that it goes up to about 5.1 5.2 or 5.6 5.3 this is really really cool and the SOC is still at 96 percent and the batteries are sitting at 290 amps there she go dumping again Nice and clean. Now we can see, we're going to be seeing how the spinning is going to go. So I want to make sure I'm not going to edit this video just to show you guys how this machine um, it's doing this thing. All right, folks, uh, dumping the water now. Some spinning, high speed. All right, you can see the vibration right now. Take a look closely, you see how it vibrates. It has the legs are, needs to be stabilized, or else this machine is gonna be flying everywhere. See all the water. We're doing pretty good, folks. Good shape, solar, solar works. Doesn't mean you have to be daylight, even at night. This is what you have to do. Good tests you gotta do at night. Or when the, um, you don't have sun, no backup, no power coming up from the solar panels. Because this is how you prove things. This is how you prove that your system can able to handle things even if there is a crisis or any problem, you're good to go. That's what I'm doing right now. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll show you the end product. We are currently pulling 6.4, 6.3, and the battery and power is still sitting there as 290. It was a little bit uh, higher when we started. You guys have the numbers with you guys. And we are now 96% SOC. This reading is coming right from the Wispang Junior. Here's the voltage, 50.7 volts. And that's the time right there, 2142 hours. And here's the temperature from the battery box, inside the battery box. And that's the inverter right there. All the other components. This is pretty amazing. We pull in constant power six and a half amps constantly from the batteries 48 volts battery bank is still sitting there it's just like smiling bring it on so we are still good 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 pull six and a half amps here we go folks it's reality no making up this stuff <laughs> i'm not making up this stuff at all yeah no sun i'll show you outside if you want me to prove it i still like to prove things folks that's outside it's dark all light you can see this is night time this is all night time just want to prove it to you guys night time and look at my solar lights are on 
You see that? Right there? I can't create darkness. I can't create night. If you guys can look up there, you can see uh, my sensors are flashing from my weather station. Yeah, there we go. Nice done. Playing music. Christmas carols. There she go. Everything is done. Nice and clean. Thank you, Mr. Little Dandy. Looking good or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, we got some clean clothes. Let me show you the battery bank again. The voltage and the readings. I think it's kind of a little bit awkward because uh, the end of the wa wash um, it was playing Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. I don't want that. I don't want my video to be flagged like, you know, copyright. So I have to pause the video. So you guys can see we just lost uh, 1%. So, was it a 96, nice 95 percent SOC? It's all done at 2146 hundred hours live from the station here, JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. So, it's another nice video again for you guys today. So, this is how the system is working. I just want to prove it to you guys. A lot of people, we have a lot of skeptics out there. Solar can't do anything. Oh, you can only do that at night, uh, during the day, not at night. Of course, during the uh, at night, uh, as, at night as well, you can do that. See, this is night time. Night time. See, these are all powered solar. There's a DC right here. Well, everything is ready. Oh boy, almost dry, half dry. Wow, I can't believe this. Well, I'm not surprised because I know the system I built. It's not like a funny system. This is real business. Look at that, pretty clean and nice. Wow, thank you Lord provision and uh, this is JW Solar USA this is how I'm gonna wrap up the video it's exactly um, 28 minutes right here